All right. Well, for now, we've got this part done that goes on the column. And uh, we're not going to do any more on it until we finish with the motor mount because it hooks into it. So what I've done is I've set it up sideways. I want this to set in a little bit farther for the, um, for the adjustment screws here. So what I've done is I've leveled it back up so we've got the same, you know, we're parallel, perpendicular, however we want to look at it. Set up the boring head, and I'm just going to bore on back and relieve both these, these uh, radiuses, top and bottom. So there again, nothing exact, and we'll hand fit these when we're done to, to smooth them out before we paint them and everything. But realistically, we're just going to open this radius up until it sits down far enough to where it looks like uh, these pads are just about centered on the, the pads on the uh, support. So I think we're all set up locked in place. We're just going to run it down and start advancing it over as we, as we go. Another slow process. I'm not in a hurry. I'm actually just kind of enjoying the afternoon now. So here we go. So I've got this, I've smoothed it down, I've relieved back inside the casting and everything. So it is going to ultimately sit in here just like this. And that's our pivot assembly. So what I've done is uh, been comparing dimensions and everything. And since I scaled it up, well, there's always a chance that something's not quite right. But I think everything looks pretty good now. Um, I'm going to, I've already started, I'm bolting this down to the table and I'm going to drill clear on through because this is the pivot point. This is where we want it to be actually parallel to the bore. And I've already faced off both sides of this. You know, I used the back side as a reference surface and when I first started machining on it and had it bolted to an angle plate. So this is my hopefully known true surface down on the bottom. So I've got it set up on a couple of parallels here just to get it up so I don't drill into my table. And I'm going to trust the rest of my setup and everything and my patterns and all that good stuff and I'm going to drill this side and I'm going to drill straight on through and on the outside and the idea is I want it to come out true with that boss uh, or right in the center of that boss on the other side I'm only going to drill it right now with a 3 16 drill just to verify where it's going to be and, and all that good stuff and if there's anything major wrong with it why then we can still we've got room to make some adjustments um, I believe, I've got to go back and look, but I believe that those end up being 3 8 bolts is what we're using as pivots for those. So, we're, uh, and then this doesn't need to be exceptionally tight, I just want it down flat with the table because I am using it as the, as a reference point. So we're just going to bolt it down, drill this one hole through it, and then pull it back off. Um, the reason I relieved the, the uh, upright clamp that sits down in here is because I wanted it to be, I wanted to make sure these dimensions matched with where it was going to sit. So I wanted it to pretty much set fully down in the bottom. And I've gone in here just with a burr and relieved this. So it's uh, looking pretty good, I think. So let's poke a hole in here and uh, we're either going to be real happy or we're going to be real disappointed, one of the two. I don't know that there's a whole lot of in between in there. But I think we're going to come out just fine. And I think we'll poke a small 3 6 
and all we're really aiming for is the goal is to come out with the with the boss centered in the other side. There we are. Moment of truth. <laughs> there we are. So that's going to work well. Well, I'm going to go ahead and drill and tap this. I've got it pretty well laid out. I've got to order a little more tooling here, but uh, for right now, let's go ahead and we'll make this happen.
A little more of a bevel there. through to the bottom one from this side so let's see what it looks like on the other side may not be worth uh, clamping down again we'll take a look at it yeah it looks like it's pretty much virtually all the way through I think we're just gonna I guess let's go ahead and just clamp her to the table right there. because we could drag out some other clamps and clamp it. Yeah, all drilled and tapped. It's right in there like that. Line up and that will pivot. So I suppose we could go and hang it on the hang it on the uh, corn. Reds up and down. It doesn't matter on the bottom one, but on the top, that's where our hash mark goes because the top one will be pinned, so it just slides up and down with the collar. So that will set our set our alignment that way as long as we want to be straight on. Well, that 
sits on there just like yay. And it'll have a ball handle up here too, of course. And it's there. And our motor mount will sit here. And it pivots on these two pins to give us our up and down angle. Or th this is a pivot, so this just sets it so it can pivot. And then there's a nut on, uh, threaded uh, bolt on the top, or uh, with a handle on it, with a knob on it. That's what I'm trying to say. Knob on the top and a knob on the bottom. So you just differential lock them to change your angle this way. Anyway, a little more progress. There's that part of it. So hopefully you find that a little bit interesting and useful. Comment suggestions, leave them in the comment section for me below, guys. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch.